Hello all, in this video I'll show you how to run path analysis using Zamovi software. So similar to CFA as well as SIM analysis for this path analysis also I'm going to use the same data set associated with this paper and uh, part of this uh, data set I have um, variables like uh, work family balance yeah work family balance job satisfaction family satisfaction life satis satisfaction these are the four uh, constructs I have with me so the model which I'm going to create here is life satisfaction will be the final outcome work family balance is the key input and then I have job satisfaction and then I have family satisfaction so these are the few relationships I'm going to test it now and I would like to use age as one of the uh, control variable for life satisfaction this is a model I'm going to test it now so uh, if you look at the data set already have computed the average scores for uh, running this particular analysis and uh, that is clearly evident here so before you do path analysis you try to perform confirmatory factor analysis uh, you try to validate your measurement model then uh, you can uh, either compute the factor scores based on the cfa result or you can uh, use the uh, summated scores or maybe average scores for each and every constructs in terms of running the path analysis so path analysis is nothing but it's an i mean a simple extension to your multiple linear regression model so in Zamovi you have the option called path analysis you just go to same and then click path analysis um, this is through interactive mode only we are going to run this so now uh, you consider your endogenous construct and then exogenous construct so as far as this model is concerned JS, FS, LS are endogenous work family balance and age are exogenous now what I'll do is I'll include this JS and then fs ls into endogenous and then work family balance into exogenous covariate if you have categorical variable that can be uh, included in the exogenous factors box now age is also another uh, exogenous or control variable i'm going to use it here as far as this example is concerned age is treated as a control variable but by default this is also referred as one of the exogenous construct um, I have given clear explanation in same video in terms of understanding uh, and the way in which how you can use this interactive menu option in Zamovi for more details you watch that video there I have given the clear explanation to understand how to create the relationships among the endogenous and exogenous constructs now if you look at um, if you go to this endogenous model here we need to uh, create the relationships basically so when you look at this model here life satisfaction is the endogenous construct so the, there are arrows coming from work family balance job satisfaction family satisfaction and then age so what i'll do is i'll include um, work family balance js fs age into this life satisfaction endogenous box so here i want to create only main effect not the interaction um, there is a line coming from job satisfaction work can be balanced to FS so for the second endogenous let me consider work can be balanced and then job satisfaction main effect model and the job satisfaction only one arrow is coming from uh, work can be balanced that's it so this is a way how you can create the uh, uh, relationship within the path analytical framework so basically the interpretation of this logic is work family balance is affecting JS and js work family balance are affecting fs work family balance js fs and age are affecting ls this is the way how you can understand this particular logic if you look at here uh, uh, this three regression equations are representing the same thing i mean whatever may be the model we have drawn over here same thing only represented in the form of a equations here now when you look at the overall model um, the chi-square value is 3.74 and uh, p-value is significant this is pretty good i mean uh, really i'm getting better fit to the data rmsa is 0.055 and if you look at cfi tli gfi values uh, this is pretty good really good and adjusted goodness of it index is 0.998 and r-square values for my life satisfaction fs js are uh, uh, provided here and uh, overall in life satisfaction i'm getting 
0.639 as a R square value, which means that 63.9% of the variation is explained by JS work family balance and then age uh, as well as family satisfaction. Now, this section of the output is really important. If you look at this uh, parameter estimate option, so here you will be able to understand something more about this result. So predictor work family balance to job satisfaction, what is the beta value, whether this beta is significant or not. Similarly, work family balance on FS, whether the beta is significant or not. This is the way, I mean, here you have the beta values and then the corresponding P values. Almost all of the path relationships were significant here. This is the way how you can make the conclusion. And uh, you can also, um, you can also uh, ask for the, um, yeah, you can also ask for the um, same plot. So that can be done. Uh, you just go to path diagram and then select this path diagram, include betas. So here you will be able to get the path diagram for this uh, path analytical model. See, so here work family balance is related to LS and then JS is also related to LS. This is the relationship. FS is also related to LS and age is also related to LS. Uh, so this is a way how you can represent your path analytical model as well as uh, you can report your beta values in the path diagram. So this is a way how you can run the path analysis using um, Zamovi software. This is pretty simple and uh, even you can also explore this estimation option. So here I'm using maximum likelihood estimation. The parameter options, yes, I need the standard error. If you want to check the indirect effect values, you can check this. Um, so here, this will give you the indirect effect values among the constructs, basically. So JS on LS through FS, what is the indirect effect value? Whether this indirect effect is significant or not? So that is what we are getting here. Uh, almost all of the indirect effects are significant. So whatever may be the possible combination of uh, indirect effects available uh, as far as this path diagram is concerned, everything will be pro provided here under the indirect effect option. So this is a way how you can also understand this particular result. Thank you.